Most Guilford County students go back to school next Monday and with everything changing because of COVID-19, parents have a whole lot of questions. So we're working with the school system to get you your questions answered right now. You can text us your questions 336-379-5775. Remember, this is text only. Right now, joining us, Guilford County School Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Jamie King, Chief of Academic uh, Officer Dr. Whitney Oakley, and Chief Operations Officer Angie Henry joining us now uh, for questions. Okay, I'm sorry that we lost some time here. We'll get right to it. This first question says, I have a child that was working below grade level in the classroom. They were given extra help with a tutor last year. Can a GCS tutor be used virtually now to help them understand their work this year? Thank you for that question about tutoring. Tutoring services and interventions and reading and math for students who need additional supports will still be provided during remote learning. And is there any kind of extra tidbit that you can give to that about how they'll know how to get that tutoring? Sure, um, as teachers begin to reach out and welcome students um, to the 2021 school year, that would be a great time to mention how to set up those tutoring services and any um, extra support that students might need. So during those orientation sessions at the beginning of the year would be a great time to get on the same page with your child's teacher and get those scheduled as part of the remote learning. Mm -hmm. This next question is, when will we be hearing from our schools about who our teachers will be? Now they didn't say what grade their child is in, so you might have to answer that on a couple of different levels. Dr. Contreras, is that you? Yes, okay. absolutely. It's a great question. I shared last night during the school board meeting that because we have extended the registration period for our virtual academies, it causes movement in the teaching staff. And that's why parents are experiencing a little delay in knowing who their child's teachers are. But today we had our first day back for teachers and teachers have been assigned their uh, students and classes. So you should be hearing from your child's teacher by the end of the week. If you have questions, please call uh, the school. Well, there's a follow up question there to the virtual academy that you just referenced. They say my high schoolers have submitted, but we haven't received anything. We don't know what's going on. Uh, who would like to take that one? I'll be glad to answer. We did send notification to all parents via email. So if the parent did not get an email, that means we don't have the correct email for them. Please just call our student registration or student assignment office and we'll be able to confirm for you your child's registration. Mm -hmm. This person is asking when will parents know what the plan will be on October 20th and that's of course after that nine weeks of learning. I can answer that one. So our Board of Education will continue to meet and review public health guidance. Um, they're set to meet again on September 8th to look at where we are currently and we'll look at our numbers here in Guilford County before um, talking about the plan that they will select as we re-enter schools. So we will be presenting scenarios to the board as we move um, to our September board meetings, and then parents will have more information um, as we get closer to October 20th on how we will re-enter schools safely. Mm -hmm. This person is texting, if my child cannot log on to live lessons during the day, can he do those lessons later in the day? Hello, yes, again, another great question. So yes, they can watch those lessons later. Our teachers will be doing live lessons throughout the day, but then we've also talked to teachers about recording those lessons and depositing them inside of Canvas, which is the learning management system that students are used to logging into. And then students and parents can watch those at a later time. So they don't necessarily have to be on there live, but the teachers will be live so they can interact with students and then record those lessons for later viewing. And piggybacking right there on that someone is asking is there only one login for each device if i have multiple children can each one of them log into the same device so uh yes multiple students can use the same device but uh, as one student completes their work on the device they'll need to log out and then the uh, second student or however many students they need can log in but each student needs to log out once they complete the use so that the second student can log in okay i i do just want to add for families that we are opening 13 school sites 
for parents that have issues with technology or with devices. And those school sites are listed on our website. Uh, we encourage parents who have multiple children in the district, but only one device to please take advantage of utilizing these sites where we have computer labs for their convenience. Mm -hmm. And again, those 13 sites are listed on the Guilford County Schools website. We're going to take a quick break, get back to your questions. Again, you can text them to us 336-379-5775.